States has come up with an ambitious plan to send a fully working pub on a 10-week voyage to London. As Dave Gooselink reports, they're after a few good southern men to go on a high seas pub crawl. This replica Spates Owl House is being built in a Dunedin warehouse, but it's destined to end up on the other side of the world to quench the thirst of homesick Kiwis living in London. Yeah, we're seeing the whole, the whole thing. We've got a couple of 40-foot containers, join them together, put a bar in them, we're going to send the whole thing, put it on a boat. The ship departs Dunedin in late July, travelling to Samoa, up to Panama and through the canal, east to the Bahamas, a quick stop in New York, before arriving late September somewhere in London. Newspaper ads ran to find the recruits. 2,000 hopefuls turned up to volunteer to take the pub to London. Prime came on board to show the incredible journey on TV. This guy, he found out on Saturday, he had got an interview. He was in Tokyo, so what did he do? He went straight to the airport, got on a plane, got here this morning. Only 189,000 yen. On July the 23rd, the ship set sail from Dunedin with a crew of five, a hold full of beer and a fully working pub on deck. A fully operational floating pub left in Eden this afternoon, bound for the UK on a thirst-quenching mission. Five southern men were selected by the brewery to take a fully working alehouse to thirsty Kiwis in London. The boys sent weekly updates that appeared on The Crowd Goes Wild on Prime TV. The live weblog charting the boys' progress averaged over a thousand unique visitors a day and the radio network broadcast daily reports from the crew. The story of one Kiwi bloke living in London who missed his local brew is coming to a conclusion in England right now. Well, the five southern blokes who took a Spates ale house to the other side of the world have arrived safely at their final destination. By the time the MV leader hit London, the boys were legends and the PR value alone has been estimated at over $2.5 million six times the size of the combined media budget. The entire journey was made into a 60-minute documentary. The 15th Spates Ale House is currently resting on the banks of the Thames in London, plying 20,000 litres of the famous gold medal ale a week to homesick Kiwis and curious Englishmen alike. But more importantly, Spates has regained its place as New Zealand's number one best-selling beer.